Welcome guys, today I bring you the most comprehensive comparison video there has ever been made for PUBG. I'll be comparing the CAR-98 sniper rifle with the M24 using data my data and in-depth testing and analysis. In my testing I also found a critical misalignment that you need to know about. But enough talk, let's get started. The first comparison is damage. Without any armor we see the base damage of the weapons, where the M24 clearly has the highest. Against level 1 armor we see something interesting. A CAR 98K will not one-shot a level 1 helmet when shooting in the neck, but the M24 will. A clear advantage for the M24. With level 2 armor, headshots are still lethal for both weapons, however neck shots are not lethal with either weapon. When the target is using level 3 armor, none of the weapons will one-shot with a headshot. However, the M24 still does more damage overall. Next is a ballistics comparison, where we will test the bullet velocity and the bullet drop for both weapons. The CAR 98K bullet velocity drops fast in the beginning, but then levels out and has a very slow and consistent drop in average bullet velocity. This is naturally due to the effects of drag, where the quicker the bullet travels, the more drag, meaning the faster the bullet slows down. The bullet drop is extremely consistent up to 600 meters, from where the bullet drops twice as fast as before. This makes the CAR 98 very intuitive to use when hitting long range targets up to 600 meters. The M24 has a higher bullet velocity in the beginning of the bullet travel. However, when exceeding 500 meters, the bullet now travels slower than the CAR 98K, making long range shots further away than 500 meters easier to hit with the CAR 98K. The bullet drop curve is also less intuitive. But worth mentioning here is that the bullet drop up to 300 meters is very low, which basically makes the weapon feel like a laser on shorter distances. And since most of your snipes are done less than 300 meters away, this is great. Comparing the data on the same charts, we see that the CAR 98K has the most consistent drop in bullet velocity and is faster from 500 meters and beyond. Also, the M24 bullet drop curve is higher, meaning that you need to aim lower with an M24 compared to when using a CAR 98K. Next is something that has never been done before, a recoil analysis of bolt-action sniper rifles. Here I'm measuring the max reticle position or bounciness of the weapon and the reticle resting position. Firing a total of 10 shots we quickly see that the CAR 98 is extremely stable when it comes to the vertical kick, an elegant handling and a beautiful result. For the M24 this story is a bit different. We definitely see that the extra damage kicks the weapon around more. The CAR 98K ends up being the most stable weapon when fired. But how quickly can you fire consecutive shots? The weapons have an identical rate of fire. The hip fire accuracy seems to be better with the CAR 98K, which is noticeable by the crosser being slightly smaller when holding a CAR 98K. This is an indication that it likely is like this, however it definitely isn't much. And speaking of accuracy, Houston, we have a problem. I'm standing a perfect 100 meter away from the target wall, which is also the default zeroing distance of all scopes and sights, meaning that I should hit exactly what I aim at, which is definitely also the case when using a sight or scope. This should also be the same for iron sights, which is perfect for the CAR 98K. However, when using the M24 we have a significant misalignment which is exactly why you never hit your shots when using this iron sight. The bullet simply goes far too high, and yes, the M24 iron sight is also 0 to 100 meters. Comparing the weapon sway, it is actually possible to perfectly synchronize the weapons.
This shows that the weapons use the same sway parameters and are equally steady. The ADS speed is also identical. Reloading a full magazine is 0.3 seconds faster with the Car 98K. And interestingly, the Car 98 magazine counter updates when the weapon is ready to fire, but the M24 counter updates at the insertion of the magazine, which could lead to the user thinking that the weapon is ready to fire before it actually is. And now for some stealthy stuff. First, let's test the flash visibility of both weapons. And when going further away, the flash is identical for each weapon. When talking camouflage, the Car 98 is dark with a more natural colored look, which makes it blend in slightly better with most surrounding environment compared to the completely black M24. The barrel length of the Car 98K is shorter than the M24. This means that enemies might spot your M24 when it sticks out of a window, yet another stealth advantage for the Car 98K making it slightly less likely to get spotted. When reloading the weapons, one of them leaves a trace behind. The M24 magazine drops to the floor and stays there for about a minute, whereas the Car 98K leaves no trace behind. Finally, let's test the sound of each weapon and learn how far away they can be heard. Also, pay attention to how the sound changes for each weapon as we get further away. Note that these tests are done with HRTF disabled.
the audible distance is identical. However, the unsuppressed M24 interestingly makes noticeably less noise between 400 and 1000 meters. So in conclusion, both weapons have different strengths and weaknesses. However, overall, simply due to the damage and faster bullet velocity, up to 300 meters, the M24 will be the preferred choice for most players. I hope you learned something new, because I certainly did. The M24 might be stronger and a rarer rifle, but it certainly isn't the best on all parameters. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video. If you liked it, press like and subscribe for more. You can also support me on Patreon.com as support that helps me keep doing videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.